Welcome back to the High Sea Error Report. Lake Tahoe's water elevation has reached a five-year low, dropping under the natural rim and leaving questions as to what the effects will be on the surrounding areas. One result is that the Truckee River, the only river Lake Tahoe releases into, has become a little more than a trickle in some spots. It's rocky, shallow, and slower than usual. Lake Tahoe was about a half an inch under the natural rim Monday, which was still a ways from its record low of 6,220.2 feet in 1992. That record was during one of two instances when the lake's elevation dropped below the natural rim for an extended period of time, according to the TRPA in a press release. The first was from 1930 to 1936, and the second was from 1988 to 1995. It's the 18th time the lake has done so in the last century. So, you know, it's not like this hasn't happened before. Some of this was seen in the, early, in the late 1980s and early 1990s when Lake Tahoe stayed under the rim for several years. The Truckee River's larger fish population took a significant hit and it wasn't able to recover completely until around the early 2000s. Now, obviously, the lake level being this low has some economic impacts as well. First and foremost, you know, if the snow is not coming down, people are not coming up here to ski and we see a drop off in visitation at the ski resorts. The second thing is the fire danger really starts to escalate and, you know, that's not a good thing because that costs a lot of money. <clears throat> and then the last thing is, you know, our fishing boat captains who are based in places like Tahoe Keys Marina, one of my buddies told me that if we have another weak winter, he won't be able to get out and he will have no business for all of 2015. So here's the deal. Get your snow dancing shoes on and get outside. Pray to the guys to make sure the precipitation comes down. That's about all we can do. We'll be back.